in this session you will learn two very easy methods to calculate covariance matrix using excel in the previous video i had already discussed what is covariance and uh, what is covariance matrix what is the need for calculating covariance matrix you know this covariance matrix is required as an elementary step in principal component analysis which is a dimensionality reduction technique so let us understand this with the help of same example in this example there is a company x which has various subunits and two of its subunits x1 and x2 are given for x1 and x2 the data for past 10 years for their annual sales profit in percentage is given 2.5 and 2.4 respectively for x1 and x2 in the year 2011 and uh, the question is that we need to find the covariance between these two companies data x1 and x2 whether they are correlated or not along with that we need to find out the covariance matrix so let's make use of the covariance matrix formula in the first method which is given by summation of x1 minus x1 bar into x2 minus x2 bar divided by n minus 1 so we'll have to calculate x1 minus x1 bar x2 minus x2 bar their product the square of x1 minus x1 bar and square of x2 minus x2 bar to calculate this matrix parameters all four let's say this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 and this is 4 so this is my first parameter of this matrix this is the second parameter second and third both are same and uh, this is the fourth one right so let us evaluate step by step so first of all for calculating x1 minus x1 bar we need to find the average of the mean value of the first feature 1.81 similarly for the second x2 i am getting 1.91 now let's calculate x1 minus x1 bar which is used to find out using the formula is equal to x1 minus 1.81 this is coming out to be 0.69 i can extend same way you can calculate x2 minus x2 bar and extend the same formula to whole column then calculate the product of these two columns is equal to this multiplied by this value and extend this over this whole column same way you can calculate x1 minus x1 bar square this is x1 minus x1 bar this is equal to this into the same value and extend this to column same way calculate x2 minus x2 bar square this into the same cell number i5 and extend it to the whole column right so we have got all these values now what i want in the formula this should be divided by n minus 1 n minus 1 when we are taking the sample mean and if you want to take the population mean then you can divide it by n so let us calculate the mean of these two should be 0 and uh, the sum of this 
divide by and extend this to these three. I've got this value. So now let's write the covariance matrix. Here, I want to write the covariance between x1 and x1, which is nothing but the first one is 0 0.6167. Covariance between x1 and x2, 0 0.615444. Same is the value for this third cell, 0 0.615444. And the last cell, which is variance of x2, 0 0.7165. Five, six. Right. So this is my required answer. Now let's see the second uh, easiest way to find the covariance matrix that is by using the matrix method. The formula for which I have given like this. Uh, this can be interpreted from the given covariance matrix. I have written the expanded formula for these terms and uh, this can be represented in the matrix form as x transpose into x where this x is where this x is the given data value which is x1 and x2 but subtracted from mean. Right. So if you see when I write x1 minus x1 bar, x2 minus x2 bar in the transpose form, I have the column of these two data values you have 10 samples write these 10 samples in the transpose form and uh, multiply it with x1 minus x1 bar x2 minus x2 bar and write this in the column form. So when you multiply the first row with the first column of this second matrix, you will get this term. Same way you will get this term and this term by using this simple formula. Now let's evaluate it. For this I need these two column values x1 minus x1 bar and x2 minus x2 bar. Just copy these values, paste it here. And uh, second, I need the transpose of this. Just copy these and while pasting from the control options, select transpose this is my transpose matrix and now i need to use the formula x transpose into x and then divide it by n minus 1 so to use matrix multiplication in excel we can use mm ult pass the first array or first matrix and separated by comma pass the second matrix close the brackets press enter you will get the first cell value this x transpose matrix size is 2 cross 10 
and this size of x matrix is 10 cross 2. So I will get the resultant matrix as 2 cross 2. So you need to select array of size 2 by 2, press F2 and then control shift enter. You will get all the four cell values. Now, now again select 2 by 2 size array. Apply the formula. Use equal to sign. Select all these four values and divide by n minus 1 which is 9. Press F2 and control shift enter. So here are the four values which represent my covariance matrix. This is the same covariance matrix that we obtained using the first method by applying direct formula. So you can see here the covariance between x1 and x2 is positive. That means these two values x1 and x2 vary in the same direction. That means when x1 is increasing, x2 is also increasing. So this is how we interpret the covariance matrix. In the end, let's use uh, the Excel statistical functions directly to evaluate the covariance and variance and from them we can build the covariance matrix. So first of all, let's find variance for X1 for this. VAR dot S for sample variance of this X1 feature the variance and uh, to find the variance of x2 you can extend this formula here this is the variance of x2 and to find the covariance between x1 and x2 you can make use of the same covariance in the similar way covariance function dot s select x1 separated by comma select s x2 close the brackets and here is the covariance to see other statistical features you can make use of the formula menu and from more function you can see different statistical features that can be used wherever required so this is how i can build the covariance matrix from variance and covariance. This is how uh, our results are validated using the Excel statistical functions. So that's all for the session on covariance. In the next session, I'll talk about the third step of PCA, which is the calculation of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Thank you.